Guys, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your February 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, we are going to take a look and see uh, what is next for you guys in love. And then we're going to finish off for you to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Um, you may switch to work if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective uh, tourist people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the link to those are in the description box below. Um, support me on there too, okay? So tell me about, um, tell me about, uh, Tell me about um, Taurus here. What's next for Taurus and love? What's next for Taurus and love for February 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Taurus. So um, this could be with new love, a current love, or an ex. So just apply this to your own unique situation, like I said. All right. You have the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay. Um, I mean, there's definitely some sort of change. There's definitely some sort of conflict regarding um, the situation that you're in with somebody here right now, okay? Yeah, um, I, I feel like it has, it comes down to loyalty, basically, I feel. With the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Emperor here, Aries energy. I feel like somebody here really adores somebody. But there's something here with loyalty that's not aligning between you and your person here. Yeah... Uh, because I feel like this person has a wandering eye. Someone that you're dealing with here has a wandering eye with the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, and the Seven of Cups here. I mean, these are other options here. I mean, it, it could be an indication that you are the person that they have ever dreamed of here, you know, but, you know, it could also be an indication that, you know, this person lacks loyalty because this person has a wandering eye, that this person could be really, 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 really flirty here. And, you know, maybe there could be some jealousy that's coming up here or that your person, you feel like your person is disappointing you because they are doing that. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, if this person is doing it, you know, there is about lack of boundaries here. You know, there could be, a, a, you know, there could be some insecurity. Curious that, that that someone here is dealing with here too, you know. Um, but I feel like when it comes to that, I don't know, Taurus. Maybe you know, maybe this is something that you need to voice, or someone here needs to voice because I do feel like someone here is feeling very jealous and very insecure here because you know, obviously, you know, in life, even though you're, when you're in a relationship, you are allowed to speak to other people here. You know, a lot of times when you speak to other people, you know, you know, nine times out of ten, nothing might happen you know, I feel like nothing happens. I feel like it just is, is, is it's it's in someone's head, you know? Uh, but I do feel like, you know, it's important to express someone here. Yeah, it's important for someone here to express their concerns here. The uh, three of wands here and the five of swords, the five of cups here and the lovers here. Okay, yeah. The disappointment here is that there could be like, this could be also be a long distance relationship here. And I feel like maybe you guys are fighting a lot or arguing a lot because, you know, uh, right now there's no chance that you guys will be moving together. It's closer together here. And I feel like maybe there are, are sort of some sort of concerns. Yeah, someone here could be exploring other options here. But if someone here is exploring other options, you know, I do feel like someone here needs to be kept into a loop here. You know what I mean? So any information that's being given out here, you know, someone or both of you guys could use that information to make some sort of decision here. Uh, because I feel like it's almost like I feel like so someone here is starting to feel very, very, very uncomfortable here. The Knight of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here with the Knight of Swords. Tell me the Hierophant here. Why is the Hierophant here? The Three of Cups. I do feel like the distance is an issue here because I feel like there's a lack of physical connection here. And I feel like someone here is just looking for physical connection. Could be sexy time here. Yeah, six, seven of cups here and the six of swords. Yeah, there's just a lack of coming together here. Yeah, this is starting to become an issue. And I feel like someone here is not willing to sacrifice or give up moving to be with somebody. 
Yeah, I do feel like there's going to be a difficult conversation that you guys are about to have here. Yeah, a very difficult conversation. You guys keep having it, but I feel like you, it keeps breaking out into a fight, an argument here. What else do we have for, for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on for February 2024 when it comes to this love situation? What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on for February 2024 when it comes to this love situation here? Okay, so we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy here, and the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. It seems like there is some sort of higher levels of commitment here. I do feel like there's a situation where I feel like someone here is not starting not to trust somebody here. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that Queen of Pentacles is you, uh, Taurus, and they feel like that Emperor is your person. And I feel like what's happening is I feel like you're trying to gain the courage to distance yourself from this individual because I feel like you're starting to feel hurt by this individual. Yeah, yeah you're starting to feel hurt by this individual here. Uh, because I feel, yeah, I really feel like this person's definitely out there exploring other options. I, I do feel like the, this, um, you and this person that you're dealing with here, you guys are about to hit like a sort of like a major tower moment here. Yeah, the tower, so this, this tower moment is going to bring upon change, whether you guys stay together or if you guys dis decide to separate here, the high priestess and the tower. I feel like it's come. I feel like you feel like it's coming here too. Yeah, the, uh, high, pr high priestess, cancer, Pisces, and the, t uh, and the ten of cups here. I feel like you know that deep in your heart or maybe deep in your soul here or deep in your body, you just feel that, you know, this is the right person for you. But for some reason, I don't know. I feel like you, there's a sense of staying firmly to the ground here. And I feel like, you know, there's a bit of stubbornness here between you and your person because I feel like someone here is just not willing to, like I said, to sacrifice moving here. Yeah, sacrificing their, their I guess, I guess their creature comforts to uh, be with somebody here, moving to a new place and stuff like that, because I really feel like it stresses someone out. It really stresses someone out here. And uh, maybe it's stressful for you and your person here. I, I feel like this is a really difficult conversation that you guys are about to have, because I feel like this conversation is going to make or break this relationship. You know what I mean? It either will make this relationship stronger or that it, it will you'll cause some sort of separation here. The Seven of Swords here and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, wow. There's somebody else in the picture here. Who are, I mean, this emperor that you're dealing with here, I feel like this emperor is not really be, being completely honest and transparent here with you. I do feel like this emperor has met somebody here. I really do. I really feel like this is a long distance relationship. Um, a queen of cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, because I see you as, as this Queen of Cups. Typically, that cra that's Capricorn energy for me, but th that could be any Earth energy here with the Four of Cups here and the Hermit. The Strength card here and the Star. I mean, obviously, I mean, long-distance relationships is quite challenging enough already, okay? Uh, you know, especially, you know, when it's there's a lapse in communication here, it becomes even more challenging here because what happens when there's a lapse, in, a lapse in communication, you just end up filling in the blanks for this person, you know? And I feel like that's exactly what happened. That's what's happening here. And I feel like the fit blanks that you're filling in is your intuition letting you know that there's something wrong here, okay? So I do feel like your intuition might have kicked in regarding what uh, you've been dealing with with this emperor here. And I feel like your intuition's right. And I feel like you should trust your intuition here and base your decision on your intuition here, you know? And also confronting this person here too. But I feel like this person's definitely not going to tell you the truth here because the Seven of Swords is a representation of lies and deception here, okay? But I actually see you distancing your, distance yourself from this person and starting your healing process here, okay? I feel like this has been going on for a while, for the like last five or six months here. So, um... Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.